Hi, it's Jeff Jallen again. So now we have a copy of MP0, um, the project that we're using as an example here, and we've identified ourselves in email.txt by inserting our Illinois email address. So now let's start working on the assignment. And one of the things that you're going to do frequently when you work on MPs or labs for this class is run a tool that we give you, which is an automatic grading tool. So let me show you a little bit about how that works. So in IntelliJ, you can run the auto grader in a couple of different ways. If you go up here to run, and let's see, um, this option right here, which gives op opens the run menu, you can see that the run menu has a couple of choices in it that are preloaded. We've added these to the MP for you. So there's two choices. Uh, one of them is grade MP0. And this is something that I suspect you're probably going to do a lot. Um, what this does is it runs a program locally that executes some tests and computes your score on the MP. So you can see here right now what's happened is I have a zero and this is what I'm going to get when I start um, on most of the MPs. And it reports a little bit about what the problems are. So there were check style errors um, that were reported and so I didn't receive any points for check style. Um, and there were three files that I was supposed to finish, none of which had yet compiled. And so part of how you can think about approaching the MPs is running the auto grader um, and then also running the test suites. So let me show you how to do that. So again, I can go up here um, to this menu and come down to the run option. And there's another option here to run a test. So I can run test MP0. And in comparison to the um, so the grading output, this actually gives you more useful information. So I'm going to pull this tab up a little bit. So you can see some of the problems that were identified. So for example, um, in this case, uh, my LCM function didn't compile. And the reason is it was supposed to return an int and it didn't return anything. It returned uh, void. So let's fix that. So uh, LCM is supposed to return the least common multiple of the two integers. It's supposed to return an integer. This is obviously incorrect, but it's better than what I had before and that it's actually going to compile this time. So let's see what happens here. So um, I'm going to go back up to my run menu and why don't I run the auto grader again and see what happens. So I'm going to run grade MP0 and you'll see in an exciting twist that I now have 10 points on the MP. Um, so I got 10 points for LCM test. There were still test failures, so I didn't get full credit. For MP0, there's 30 points, and this is described in the write-up. There are 30 points for each of the three files, and I'm just using this as, as an example. Uh, but you can see here that um, I've now earned some points here, and if I went over and fixed the compilation problems in some of the other files, I would start to get credit on those as well. So this is an example of how to run the local auto grader. This is a tool that we hope is useful to you. Um, however, Keep in mind that frequently running the test suites rather than the auto grader is actually going to be a lot more useful. So again, let me run the test suites again. And in this case, the test suite is going to uh, show me some other problems with my code that I can immediately fix, which will immediately earn me more points.